Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Friends, today's topic is OIVRTC debugging. You see various OIVRTC applications are there, but if there are few issues happen while calling, while receiving calls or uh, uh, dialing calls, if there are any issue happens, so how you will debug the OIVRTC level protocols? So these all I am going to discuss uh, these in details today. So these, it will be complete discussion related to OIVRTC debugging and I will be using uh, the popular tools uh, cpml5 and try it to show how these tools uh, how to debug the calls uh, uh, while running the calls you can debug the debug the application so in protocol level if there are any issues you can debug it easily uh, after uh, after this video you see so let's uh, before this friends let's see here i have already uh, here I have uploaded two more videos related to OIVRTC. These are very important that you uh, check all these videos. And here I have mentioned about all the settings, how you will uh, configure these tools like CPML5 and uh, cpml5 and jsf tools how we will debug and this video i have completely discussed uh, what is oivrtc what are the underlying protocols and how oivrtc works so i strongly recommend you check both these videos first before starting this video so if you are a beginner uh, so let's start today's topic friends so here i have already configured this configuration i have already discussed in earlier videos so here i have already configured and connected uh, connected to server so uh, let's see how how I will debug this uh, application. So to debug this application, you have to right click here and you have to go to inspect browser inspect tool. There you will find the console logs are there. So these console logs basically shows you all the things that you require. So uh, as I in my earlier video, I have discussed about the architecture of the OIVRTC. OIVRTC is nothing but an embedded uh, SIP application where SIP uh, protocol it sends over the web socket. So here you can see that uh, here it uh, made a web socket connection. So you can debug it easily. So you can see that here it made an web socket connection to the OIVRTC server which I have configured here. So it first created the web socket connection and after that it's just a C protocol uh, negotiation so here it TLS handshake happened all this uh, protocol layer handshake happens so after that it just uh, ship messages so you can see here it's a register message sent to the server so it's completely like a shift so phone so here it sends a register message it got 200 okay so this is how it works so now let's clear this browser details and let's try it again so you can see that here it got deregistered. So here it sent uh, sent register. Uh, it deregistered itself. Uh, so here expiry is zero set. So it got deregistered. So now see how let's get it registered again. So so here you can see that it got registered again. So these are SIP messages only. It sent a SIP register message and it got uh, registered again. So here it created the web socket connection, web socket handshake happened, then it sent a register message. So this is how the SIP message works in uh, inside the WebRTC tool. So let's uh, clear these things and let's make a call to this this, this node and see how the calling works here. So here I got a call and I answered the so the both both way what do you established so let's see let's see how to debug this thing. so here you can see can see the invite messages received so ice ice negotiation happens so let's discuss disconnect this so now let's see the whole thing that happened in this so the invite message received so this is uh, this is purely a ship uh, ship message get negotiation negotiation at the back end so here invite message received so here is a different kind of little different the uh, 
HTTP part is little different here because here HTTP the uh, DTLS handshake happens so this DTLS related parameters are sent and stand related parameters are sent because this is completely ICE driven so uh, here IC protocol and this is your DTLS related handshake happens so invite have invite came here so my uh, clients and hundred trying then uh, it uh, sent ringing then 200 okay right so it sent ringing then it sent 200 okay so it's basically just simply it's a ship message only but only the stp part is different because here lots of candidates ice related data is exchanged then uh, dtls related data is exchanged so 200 okay is sent to the server so here you can see 200 okay so at the end acknowledge is received and uh, ek is received and then buy is sent so once i disconnected buy is received so it's completely uh, ship message exchange between the webrtc server and the webrtc client so here this is how you can debug these messages so there is another way uh, so these are the console logs these are very useful while debugging the messages if there are any calling issues or any kind of things happen so you can see whether the request are reach, reaching to the browser end or not here you can see all the zip messages so if you require to mm. debug it or send these messages you can save it like this so you can save the data and you can send these log messages to uh, if you want uh, if you need to send to somebody else to debug these issues so here is another options here so here you can see that uh, in the network tab you have option for uh, ws uh, websocket so here in websocket also you can see the messages so let's clear these things uh, and let's start again here i have logged out so you can see the body registered so here you will not see the complete thing so here is a new connection happen so here i am making one more call So here you can, so here see, can see, see, see the message. So here I disconnected the call. So here you can see that there is some issue with this call. So you can see this clearly. So all these things you can very easily debug all these uh, messages and packets here. So here the buy is received, then 200 OK is sent. So all these things you can, uh, all the ship message this, uh, that are getting negotiated, uh, you can see here. So this is how uh, it's very easy to debug the WebRTC applications. So one more thing is useful here is, uh, yeah, so if settings related here, you have to allow the microphone and sound all this to get the WebRTC calls. Now this is all about CPML5. Now if I will use the same thing and try it, how it works. So here I am deregistering. So here I have tried it. So let's clear the console first. So to try it, it's little different. Sometimes the debugging is not enabled. So how you will enable the debugging in uh, try it, JSF try it. So here is the option. You have to run this uh, command to enable debugging in uh, JSF. So just copy paste this command and paste it in console line and enter so what will happen this will enable the debugging jsc complete debugging it will enable uh, so now you see here if i refresh it it will send a see it created a new web socket connection is same only again the ship messages get exchanged so here it created web socket connection things negotiated and it got uh, connected and this is one register message happened and it got registered with the server once it registered it's showing green 
so this is how uh, it works now let's see how to debug these things let's make few changes and see <clears throat> so so i am changing the password some random password i said and see how how i will debug these things if the registration fails So here it got successful. Let me change a few things. Let's put some wrong information. And then wrong information. Okay, friends. So this is something server, and I have uh, not kept the check. That is why it is getting registered. So anyway, uh, so here you can check the uh, RTP, check the signaling messages to debug this application. So this is how the you have to debug the application calling and all these are same only here also. So if I call this number, so here I have to change the registration part So I have registered with this number. So now I am calling this number. So it received the call. So here I am rejecting the call. So you will see some something different here. So here it's an 480 temporarily unavailable. So you can completely debug this application. So these logs are same as uh, CPML5 or JSC, whatever you tell. So all are same only debugging the application, debugging the uh, WebRTC application is same only. So this is how you will debug the complete application. Here also you have network options where you can see the WS and you can see the messages uh, related to WS. Here you can see it got registered, invite and all this. So here you can see the invite. I have rejected the invite with 480. Then hack is received. So friends, this is all about uh, uh, WebRTC debugging. So there are more options available. I will be sharing a, a, in another video how to uh, trace the uh, trace from the browser and all this. There are more options available. So this will be. Uh, so friends, this is all about the discussion of WebRTC debugging. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So here is my channel. You can subscribe uh, to my channel here. So uh, here is the subscribe button. You can subscribe and you can uh, uh, you can get the notification if I will upload new videos. So here I have uploaded few more videos. I recommend you to check these videos as well because the JSAP is related to, uh, I mean WebRTC is related to SIP and WIF. So I, I recommend you to check all these videos as well. So you will get a deeper understanding of SIP, how it works. Here I have uploaded few more videos related to telecom like SS7 uh, protocol, Sigtran and all these. More videos related to C, C++, open SIPs, then C, web traffic testing tool, CP. Then here you have more videos related to SMPP and all these. And after all, uh, it's OIVRTC videos as well. So friends, 
thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and share my videos if you like this video thank you friends